Okay, we're going to look at making a suppository. So to do that, first we need to have the suppository base, which here we have in granular form, which should uh, melt using indirect heat on a water bath, which would produce you a liquid like this. This is quite warm. Actually, it's very warm, so I'm not going to handle it excessively. What we're going to do is we're going to incorporate the powder we've already weighed, measured, and checked, and stir that in with a glass rod in this receptacle. Okay. Now again, it's always gentle stirring. And you can tell the colour of this liquid has now changed. may take some time for it to completely go into the base and you will need to keep stirring for a, li for a little while at least. Now I normally suggest you stir until it cools slightly as well. It makes it easier to pour into the moulds and it also makes sure that whatever you have um, dispersed into this base is more evenly spread and that makes your suppositories more consistent. So this stirring in practice would probably take five to ten minutes. Now we're going to show you the next step slightly ahead of time. This is not quite called to exactly what we would like, but we're now going to pour them into our suppository moulds just here. Okay. Now the key to this is a steady hand and to make sure you don't spill it over the bench everywhere. I've actually got myself a bit of paper which I'm going to pour over to make sure I don't spill it on the bench and it's easier to clean up. So taking it very easily and gently because you want to avoid trapped bubbles in the suppository, just pour gently in. Now you're going to need to overfill it slightly. Okay. As you can probably tell, the tops have started cooling and hardening. Okay. And you can also tell within here, if you're to pour another set of moulds, that you need to re-agitate your powder and base. Okay. Having poured your suppositories and allowed them to settle and cool and not get completely cold, you need to scrape the excess off the top. Okay. And then as you turn it over, you can see some of the caps we've already removed. And this one here still has its cap on. And you can see here where we've been a bit too strong and we've broken the end of the suppository off. So that's not um, acceptable. So that won't be in, uh, included in any suppository that we release. Okay. Here's one that's a bit more obvious in terms of caps on, caps off. And you can see they're not all completely the same, but they're pretty close. Okay. Now, the caps are simply slid on to these bases, so it is just a matter of um, pressure behind them and sliding them off. These are ones we've already pre-released. 
um, and you can see it's almost a little bullet shape within the cap. It's normally easier if you remove the cap first and then press out the suppository. Now we've already released these suppositories so they're going to be fairly easy. I normally say if you have a piece of paper or something below it so they don't fracture when you push them. So normally it's just literally pushing on the ends there. These are already loose so it's a bit easier but sometimes you'll need a bit of pressure and they will pop out. Okay. So the end result is something like that. A classic bullet shape.